And it's hot outside, which means many of us are going to stay cool by taking a dip in the pool. And with it being National Water Safety Month, now is the perfect time to remind everyone to be careful. And I caught up with YMCA Senior Aquatic Manager Lindsay Mondick. She's actually explained why it's so important to teach kids as well as adults how to be safe around the water. Listen up. Okay. Well, drowning it continues to be a major epidemic across the country for children. We know that drowning is the leading cause of death for children one to four, and the second leading cause of death for children five to 14. So at the Y, we really believe that learning to swim isn't a luxury, it's a necessity. Definitely, so can you tell us just a little bit more about the WISE water safety program? Yeah, so we at the Y are fortunate enough to serve our communities and have 2,000 pools across the country. And because drowning continues to be a, a, an epidemic, we really feel that safety around water is our call to action. And so in the program, we teach both water safety skills, learning to swim skills, as well as water safety topics to really ensure that kids have those skills to keep themselves safer around water. So we teach front float and back float. Uh, and the two key skills that we teach are jump, push, turn, and grab. So if a child were to fall in the water, they know how to push off the bottom of the pool, turn towards the wall, and grab it. And the second skill is swim, float, swim. So teaching a child to swim on their front so when they get tired and need a rest, roll onto their back uh, to catch their breath, and then roll back under their front and make forward progress back to the side of the pool. So, and it's something that people don't really like to talk about, but drowning rates, because it's something that it happens. Can you tell us a little bit more about, you know, those rates and, and what we can really do to start changing those statistics? Again, you know, drowning continues to be that leading cause of death. Um, we know that children who take swimming lessons have an 88%, they're less, 88 less likely to drown. And so that is one layer of protection. One of the other layers of protection as a parent, um, anytime your children are in or near the water, is to ensure that you are constantly vigilantly watching the water. So that means uh, ensuring that there are no distractions. So you're not talking on your cell phone, you're not reading a book, you're not talking to a friend but you are constantly watching the pool and, and or the water and ensuring that those kids are safe while in the pool. So what are some uh, swim lessons you guys teach over there at the Y? Yeah, so our Safety Around Water program uh, is a eight week program or eight session program, about 30 to 40 minutes each that really works on those key skills to keep kids safer around water. So we encourage them to learn how to do their front float, back float, uh, jump, push, turn and grab, that skill that I mentioned before, as well as swim, float, swim. We know that as we, if we teach those skills, kids will have the confidence uh, to be able to keep themselves safer if, and if they were to unexpectedly fall into the water. So aside from teaching your kids how to swim, uh, what else can parents do to, you know, make sure that their kids are safe around the water? So again, uh, constantly and vigilantly watching. Um, some other tips are if they are non-swimmers, ensuring that they have a Coast Guard approved life jacket, uh, as well as if you have a home pool, ensuring that you have those layers of protection so that you have fences and alarm systems to ensure that your, your pool is safe. And for more information, uh, you can visit your local Y or you can go to ymca.net slash water safety to learn more tips on water safety. Thank you so much for that information. And you guys can find this information all over again on our website a little later today, firstcoastliving.net.